wanapiga makofi mara moja. Ama nimeuliza? Yeah. Kisa wakuje together for unapiga makofi sasa sasa haiwe Okay, fine. So Jesus is seated there. This woman enters the room. Okay, 
I hope I'm not imitating someone talking style, but let me just do it. It's an illustration. I told you this is going to be almost an instant service, right? So yeah, it was the woman comes. Okay, she has a bucket, okay? Then she looks at Jesus and she's like, Psh, man, I don't want anything to do with this man. These men are terrible. All these men are dogs. But they're right. Dogs are loyal. So she <laughs> So they're, they're just walking there, just like, I don't want to talk to him, I've, I've had my fair share of men, I've had five husbands and now I'm living with one that is not even my own, I don't want any more trouble in my life, I just want to fetch my water. Okay, so guys, she's not sitting there. And she wants to... <laughs> okay, bad illustration. <laughs> Ah, shut up, we're just having fun. It's, you guys are like, we've never read that translation before. It's the NIV. Nairobi International Version. So, so Jesus, because Jesus did like every other guy does. You know, Jesus walked up to her. You know, he had hair, so he's like, excuse me. Are you sure? I'm sure his voice was like that because he was gone. Like, his voice wouldn't be like, excuse me. No, he was God, so it had to be a deep voice, so he was like, oh, excuse me, can I have some water to drink? Hey, what's up, Uluka? I'm going to get a little wash here. I'm going to get a beer. Jews and Samaritans don't get along. Why are you trying to holler me? We don't even have any dealings together. Why should a Jew ask me for water? Listen, during those days, Jews and Samaritans didn't get along. So it was actually out of order for Jesus to go to Samaria in the first place. But that is the good thing about God, where he is not, where people think he will not go, that is where he goes. <laughs> Praise God. So, Jesus says to the woman, <laughs> If you knew, huh? who was asking for this water, he will ask him and he will give you living waters. Which is the equivalent of the guy who walks up to a girl at the mall, be like, um, hey, excuse me, can I have your number? Then you guys are like, Psh. Dark skin and light skin don't get along. We're not trying to make a zebra, so stay out of my life. I don't want anything to do with you. Then the guy goes like, Psh. Then the guy goes like, if you knew, asking you for your number. Eh? You will ask him and he will give you his ATM pin number. Eh? Is it? So, by the way, true story. There's a friend of mine who used this scripture to get a woman. For real, true story. Like, for real. And they're married now. He used that scripture. Like, he went to, he went to the girl and he said to her, because now Jesus asked her, okay, if you knew the gift of God that was asking you for this water, then she said, ah, I can greater than our father Jacob, living water, living water, what? And they talk to the hand, living water. You don't even have a rope or a bucket. What are you going to use to draw this water with? Then Jesus said, <laughs> if you knew who was asking you for this water, you would ask him and he would give you living water. Then, he said to her, go and call your husband. And then God said, I don't have a husband. Then he said, yes, you said correctly. Because even the one you have is not your own. So this girl came to my friend and he told him, Hey, hey man, I don't want anything to do with you because I'm dating right now. Then the girl was like, hmm. <laughs> Even the one you have is not your own. Imagine. The Bible, the, Bible is now. the Bible is amazing. The Bible is amazing. So, Jesus waited for this woman and this woman had an attitude with him. And he told him, Go and call your husband. So let's do some math. This woman had husbands, right? Yes. And the one she was with was not her own. So how many men are, that? are those? Six. Okay, so Jesus was the? Seven. <laughs> oh, you didn't get the revelation behind that? Because if you know anything about biblical numerology, you know that seven is the number of completion. Because this woman had an attitude with Jesus because she had had bad experiences and negative experiences with other men before. So she thought that Jesus was like any other ordinary man. But God was not just a good man. Jesus was the God man. He was the God in flesh. So this woman thought that this man was coming to take away from her just like every other man has done in her life. But Jesus was not coming to deplete her. Jesus was coming to complete her. So Person that God used to 
you know, just place a portion so that they start doing the I come before you today. I accept that you died on the cross and you rose on the third day and you're seated at the right hand of the Father. Today, Lord, I am making a conscious decision to dedicate my life to you. I accept you, Jesus, as my Lord and Savior. From today, I am saved. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you're here and you want to be really dedicated your life to Jesus, I want you to lift up your hand. And if you're still there and you want to be really dedicated your life to Jesus, I want you to lift up your hands with them. I want you to lift up your hands with them. I want you to say, Lord Jesus. Say it with power, say Lord Jesus. Say Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I come before you today. I give my life to you. I refuse to live in sin. I am repeating in Jesus' name. From today on, I am coming out of the pit of darkness. And I am stepping into the light of Jesus. From today, I am saved. And I am not going back. In Jesus' name. Amen. Can you lift up your hands above your heads and appreciate Jesus in this place?
Life Bible. You are. We should not die. Out. 